It was a day to remember. It was one of those days that uh, you always seem to say you should have been there. It was one of those days that we were there. In my lifetime, and I'm 72, uh, maybe a half a dozen times to, seeing it with this intensity, with the fish never left. Chasing with the boat, uh, you'll see five or six pods or ten pods, you know, moving around and you're chasing them. Here, those fish move and they go out. If the bait decides to move, you, you, you're, not, you're not catching anything, you're just blind casting. We got there early in the morning, the tide was right, the uh, fish were coming in, we saw, we saw the albies breaking and we were lucky. We had uh, the right flies, the right timing, uh, and in that day I believe I caught five uh, albies and uh, three bass. A lot of times you'll get a, um, a, an Albi school come in. They're in and out within seconds. And if, you, if you're not there and not in them, it's impossible. Uh, there's been years where I haven't caught anything. It's, it's rare, it, for me anyway. You have to be there all the time to, for this to happen. I just happen to be there at this time. Yeah. 
you had the crashing on the, on the surface. Uh, you could see the Albies chasing the bait. And then in the afternoon, the bass came in. And they were right up against the rocks. And um, the amount of, uh, uh, of fish was just incredible. And the bait. The amount of energy that they were using to catch the bait fish. It looks, uh, it's splashy, it's white water, and the fish are coming out of the water. And these are not small fish. The bass scooping up the bait, and you can see them in three feet of water. Uh, just moving in, and the water was clear. You can actually, you can see down to the bottom, uh, not to the bottom. I'm saying I'm talking about three to four feet, maybe. Uh, and we were standing it on the on the rocks itself, which is about maybe 10, 15 feet above the surface. The crashing of the fish on the surface. The people screaming and catching the fish. The, uh, the amount of, uh, uh, of energy that the fish were giving out. And then you can see all the bait fish. Uh, the, and you can see the fly that I was using and the bait fish were almost exactly alike. They were eating small flies. They were eating this little, I, they, I was using uh, the Mickelson uh, Skeeter. Glenn Mickelson uh, is a great fly tire. And his fly, which is a small, like almost, it's smaller than a dime. And it's a white bait. And it's like a bay anchovy. Five. Thank you. 
right, that's a wrap. Okay, good. Perfect. Can't wait to see it.